you should probably figure out who's going to talk first. Yeah. Hi there. I'm Nick with Acme Tools. And I'm Zach with Acme Tools. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of different kinds of knives. We have a handful of different brands here. We have a handful of different styles and different price points. We're not going to be able to cover all the knives that we carry or all of the brands that we carry, but we will dive into some of the details on the ones we have with us today. Today we're going to be starting off with kind of EDC general purpose knives. Over here we're going to get going with Klein. Nick? All right, so we're going to start with these Klein knives here. And these knives are going to be somewhat trade specific towards electricians. There's going to be a few key features on these that might be handy if you're doing a lot of electrical work. This one here in particular, as you can see, we've got an awesome blade here. And across the top, we have a spot where you can uh, strip electrical wires. And on the back side here, we've got the screwdriver tip as well. Both of these are going to have a liner lock on them for closing, as same with the screwdriver here. Next up, we'll look here at what Klein considers a sheep foot, but I'll let Zach talk a little bit more about this knife style blade. So in, in my mind, this is a little bit more of a hawk's bill, only because it swoops just a little further down than a traditional sheep's foot would. In my mind, a sheep's foot has a little bit more of a straight edge, kind of like a worn cliff. Uh, either way, it's a very functional blade shape, uh, very good for long cuts, pull cuts. Uh, that reverse belly really assists in slicing. This knife is extremely lightweight, a uh, nice little lock back here, uh, rubberized insets here, uh, thumb stud to open. This would disappear into your pocket. You'd never even know you had it until you needed it. Great little blade. Up next, we'll take a look at one of Klein's assisted open knives. Here you have a locking mechanism where you can lock it closed and it won't allow you to open that blade. And if you flip that open, when you go to open that knife, it's gonna have that spring mechanism to assist with that open. Also gonna have a liner lock. And with that lock feature, you can lock this blade open as well so you're not able to close it. It's a really great safety feature to make sure that you don't close that blade on yourself accidentally. I have done that in the past. It is not fun. Uh, this is really solid construction. Um, yeah, overall really great. Uh, this is a half serrated blade and drop point combo. A little bit of a thumb ramp here. Uh, very, very slight jimping, dual sided thumb studs and a dedicated tip down carry orientation. Again, nice blade. We also have a couple other Klein knives here. These are gonna be a little bit more standard blades. Um, these aren't gonna have quite as many features as the ones we've covered here so far. So let's jump over and take a look at one of our DeWalt knives that we have here. This DeWalt one is also going to be an assisted open. As you can see here on the side, there's a little safety lever. So again, this is going to have that spring mechanism and the nice finger tab for that quick and easy open. Again, going to have a serrated spot on the blade there. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, just like Nick was saying, this knife actually does have a uh, little bit of rubber up here along the spine. Uh, so it's got a little bit of traction. The liner lock, pretty sturdy. Uh, again, dedicated tip down carry orientation. Uh, for me, the, the safety took a minute to get used to, but once you kind of put that into your memory that you need to put that on, doesn't slow you down at all. Nice, nice solid knife. Great, great job, DeWalt. This DeWalt knife is gonna run about that $20 price range as well. Jumping into some of our Crescent knives that we have here, we have a variety of different styles, um, as well as different steels for these knives. Uh, one that we've got open here, this is going to be a D2 steel style. This one is going to have the short pocket clip as well as a liner lock with the finger assist open. Thank you. Now, now this one is not assisted opening, so it doesn't open as fast as some of these other ones until you get to know how to use it right. 
Uh, then after that, it is a simple matter of a quick flick of the wrist and it deploys just as fast as anything else. Uh, aluminum side scales here, they are a little slippery. So if you're working in a wet uh, slip environment, you might wanna put some traction tape on there or something, uh, just so make sure you get good purchase on it. But for, I think this is a $29.99 price point, uh, D2 steel, great, uh, great pocket care, Pocket clip, I can talk. Uh, real, real nice blade, this uh, D2 Crescent here. Yeah, and all of these Crescent knives are gonna be in that about 15 to $30 price range. Lastly, we'll jump into some of our Milwaukee everyday carries. Absolutely. Now, we're gonna start off at the, uh, the, the bottom of the line, so to speak. This is going to be a Milwaukee Fastback, although, Admittedly, it's not super fast. Uh, this one has a button right here that you need to deploy before you open up. Uh, it's got that half serrated blade. This is almost a Tonto blade. Uh, it, I'd say it really is a drop point, but it is a very, very squared off drop point, wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's really towing the line there. Uh, and then on this particular blade as well, you've got a liner lock again, uh, a nice wire clip, again, dedicated tip down orientation. Now this one's pretty cool because it has a driver or a bit driver that you can swap out. It's got a number two Phillips as well as a flathead bit here. So that's handy around the house. And that also has a liner lock to keep it open and for when you want to put it back in your pocket. Nice job, Milwaukee. Next up, we've got more of a normal everyday carry kind of blade. Uh, again, we've got the Fastback series. This one's in camo. This one is a Tonto style blade. Now, this one has an interesting locking mechanism. Uh, it's similar to an axis lock where you pull this back. And what's cool is when you start pulling that back, this finger detent, I don't know if you can see it too well. This right here, once you start pulling, you barely need to touch it, and that assisted spring opening just opens that blade right up. There you can see you've got the half serrated Tonto blade. Uh, great everyday use kind of blade, real nice in hand. Again, with that wire clip. Uh, this one is actually a tip up carry, which is my preferred method of carry. And as you can see, as Zach mentioned, this is that Tonto style blade that we talked about when we were looking at this knife. So as you can see, they're a fairly similar blade. Um, and what he was talking about is this squared off edge here. So you're borderline getting close to a Tonto here where this is more of a true Tonto style blade. <clears throat> All right. And lastly here, we're going to uh, end on our Milwaukee Hardline. Uh, now this is probably the most expensive knife out of almost anything that we have aside from a few multi-tools but you know, those are a lot more than just a knife. So this is the Milwaukee Hardline. Uh, it's got D2 blade. It's got that nice recurve blade style to it. Uh, some jimping up top here, good traction. Flipper style. At first it seemed a little stiff, but it's breaking right in, feeling really good to flip. Very nice, very nice. Uh, this has a frame lock with a disc to prevent overextension of that frame lock. Nice feature there. Uh, it's got a very good deep, deep carry pocket clip. Again, in that tip up orientation. What's awesome about this blade too, is if you are a right pocket carrier or a left pocket carrier, you are able to switch that clip from one side to the other. So you can have this uh, to your preference for your pocket style carry. I think that actually is the only blade on our table that has that feature. Absolutely, yeah, yep. it is. All right, so that's a really nice thing. Uh, lefties rejoice for that. Yeah, absolutely. And even as a right-handed uh, pocket or a right-handed user, I actually carry all my knives in my left pocket and I also like tip up orientation. So I like to switch that clip over to the other side for my everyday carry. All and it is a feature that you typically see in higher grade or a little bit more expensive knives for the most part. Absolutely. Last but not least, and we, uh, we did want to throw in, uh, these are multi-tools. 
Multi-tools obviously have a little bit of everything. Now this is out of my personal collection. This is a Leatherman rebar. I've had this one for about six or seven years now. I can't remember, but these are fantastic. These do everything you could ever want. It is a tiny toolbox in your pocket. You got the pliers. This particular one has got some hard edges here to cut wires or some uh, soft metals. I've got a serrated blade. I've got a saw blade, several Phillips bits, a flathead bit, all file, standard pocket knife blade, all kinds of stuff ready to go in your pocket. This is the Leatherman rebar. Leatherman makes a ton of also awesome, great knives. We figured that was a good one to throw in there for the everyday carry, being this is a very common tool that most guys like to carry every day. Absolutely. Up next, we're gonna jump into some utility knives. Starting off again with utility knives here, we're actually gonna start with Milwaukee on this go. Uh, now these are the regular fastback Milwaukee utility blades. These are world renowned. A lot of guys have these on the job site. They're pretty cool. You just give that little button right there, a press, flick it in and out. Real simple, like you've got changeable blades, real simple, and additional blade storage right there on this particular model. They come in a lot of different models. We've got a few of them here. Uh, we've got kind of a standard one. This one does not have additional blade storage outside of the uh, handle or inside the handle here. Uh, these all do feature the wire clip and tip down carry orientation for all these fastbacks. Uh, again, your standard version. This one comes with, again, that driver with a number two bit and a flathead. Real, real normal. And uh, this again has a liner lock for that driver. These fastbacks are awesome for everyday carry too, if your everyday carry is a utility knife. And what's nice about that if you carry a utility knife every day is that quick, easy blade change and never having a dull knife in your pocket. Absolutely. Also kind of worth noting, depending on your state, these are primarily legal almost everywhere. Whereas some of the ones we went over before uh, due to varying laws across different states, may or may not actually be legal for you to carry. So make sure you check your local knife laws, know them and uh, be safe out there. One other feature that we can quickly touch on on a couple of these fastbacks as well, is there is a couple spots here for quick cutting, say a wire or rope or anything like that as well. So when the blade is closed, you can actually see um, the tip of your blade there. And so you can run a wire or rope or anything like that through there for quick, easy cutting as well. Absolutely. Uh, big feature in safety as well. Uh, that's a seat belt cutter on a lot of things. Uh, moving along. So after our Milwaukee here, oh, I forgot we've got our handy little. Mm, that's some good stuff right there. Uh, little tiny pet or snap blade. Uh, all these little ones just snap right off. Very handy, very precise little blade to do some little fine detail work with. Yeah, great for cutting foam, detail work like Zach mentioned. All kinds of things. Uh, moving along here, we're gonna get into this Klein knife. This is probably the most interesting utility knife we have on the table, wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely. This one is more of a traditional style. It's not like a, a utility knife style because it opens like that. You can see you've got a big old hawk's bill blade there. Now it doesn't look like it's replaceable, but it absolutely is. They come in packs of three, I believe. We'll annotate down below. Uh, and you can swap that out. And this actually has a lock back to close that up. So it's a little bit more of your traditional style of knife, but in a replaceable blade utility style. Yeah, and it's not, this is not a common feature that you're gonna see on a lot of knives, especially in a folding utility style. Having this cool hawksbill style blade, but also being able to change those out quick and easy is a pretty awesome feature for something like this and makes it pretty versatile for different styles of jobs because you can wear through those blades and not have to worry about sharpening them. Absolutely, that's very cool. It's the only one I think I've ever seen like that. Looking at this Fiskars here, uh, Fiskars is known for a lot of their ergonomics within their tools, um, and this is definitely a great example of that. Uh, it does have 
the button release here. So you can also have kind of that fast back type quick open as well. What's nice about this is it has that widened spine to place your finger or your thumb or whatever your preference is, as well as the detent on the bottom here. So it sits in your hand pretty nicely. Um, also, if you had to do some pretty heavy pushing, say on a piece of carpet, sheetrock, anything like that, um, it really makes a good uh, leverage spot to get that uh, force that you need to make those cuts. Yeah, really, really uh, uh, organic shape, a lot of curves here. There's really nothing sharp on this blade except for the blade itself. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really nice. This is all rubberized here. This pocket clip is very, I don't know if you guys can see that. That is really recessed. So that is actually really, really nice for a lot of things when you're using it. It's not gonna rub on you, give you any hot spots. So that's a really nice job from Fiskars. Jumping into some of the Stanley Black & Decker line, we've got a couple Irwin knives here. Uh, just continuing on on some of these folding knives. Um, this one isn't going to have any sort of lock on it like we've seen on some of the previous ones. So it is just gonna be a pull open there. Again, you're gonna have this widened spine um, for that good leverage that you might need, as well as kind of that seat belt cutter here as well. And then you are gonna have some blade storage on the back side of this blade as well. Yeah, what's nice about this too is it does have some texturing right there and then along the spine there to really choke up and really get that traction when you're doing those cutting tasks. This does actually have a liner lock, so it does have a lock, but only to close it. And uh, you can kind of flip it open there, but really, really nice, solid, good, good little blade from our friends at Irwin. Another Irwin knife that we have here is going to be one of their safety knives. So this knife is gonna have a couple extra safety features that some of these other knives don't have here. As you can see, it has that red coloring, which signifies that safety feature as well. As you know, uh, Irwin is really standard with that blue and yellow, uh, but the red coloring here is to notify you that this is a safety blade. How about we jump into this really awesome gold Lennox blade? Want to talk about this one a little bit, Zach? I do, but I gotta grab my mic first. How about we take a look at this pretty awesome gold series from Lennox? You want to tell us about this one, Zach? Well, uh, I'm great knife. Uh, really, the most fantastic thing is the accent points here. Not only does it have this fantastic gold plating kind of around here, but when you open up that blade. The ones that come with it have a gold cutting edge. Is it doing anything? I honestly don't know. Does it look pretty cool? Yeah, it does. Uh, these Lennox Gold have really good ergonomics. It's a very well solid built knife. Uh, everything about it just feels very high quality. To open it up here, you've got this nice little latch here. Pops it right open with this spring inside. Great, great solid, normal utility knife without any real extra bells and whistles, but still being very high quality. Absolutely. Next, we'll take a look at a couple Stanley knives that we've got here. This is gonna be a pretty straightforward Stanley Fat Max. Um, again, this isn't gonna have too many bells and whistles on it, but it is also gonna be a real durable case, um, as well as have some blade storage on the back here. Um, but again, you can store five blades, Pretty straightforward utility knife here. The next Stanley that we have is going to be this particular guy. Um, this one has the wheel that you tighten and loosen to uh, retract and put your blade out. Um, you're gonna have some texture across the spine here, and these are going to be squared blades. Um, so this is going to be specific to cutting carpet. Um, and that's why you have this angle here and that texture across the back so you can really grip this and really get the uh, force that you need to make those cuts through the carpet. So pretty cool trade specific knife on this one. The last Stanley that we have in the lineup here for utility knives is going to be this Fat Max as well. Um, this one does have a couple cool unique features on it. This one's also gonna be trade specific 
Um, they say that this one's going to be specific for roofing. Uh, what's cool about this particular blade is you do have some blade storage on the bottom here, uh, but what really makes it unique is this one has the ability to uh, have two different blades. One's going to be a hook blade, and the other is going to be your standard utility blade. Um, you can only extend one blade at a time. There you can see that hook blade, and here is going to be your standard blade. So pretty cool feature to not have to jump back and forth when you're doing a job, say like shingling. What else is really kind of cool about this? Uh, each of these blades is actuated by its own switch. So you know which one is which, what you need your safety blade or you need your hook blade. Uh, and then they actually are fast change. You do not need to open this knife up to change out the blades. All you need to do is actually push this yellow tab to the side of the blade that you're either putting in or taking out, stick it in there and let her go back in and it is on there. Very nice, very fast knife from Stanley. Jumping into DeWalt, uh, we have a folding version and a non-folding version. DeWalt has quite a few other knives in their lineup that are similar to these, but these are the two that we have on deck for today. Um, this one's going to have that liner lock this one's going to be a little bit thicker of a knife. This is going to be a metal casing on here as well, so it's going to be a really durable knife. Again, it's going to have that kind of broadened spine, so you can put your index finger out there and really get the leverage that you need to cut, as well as the seat belt uh, hook there as well. Yeah, what's really, really nice about this, you've got some rubberized texture here. So on that top of the hand, you're going to uh, reduce hot spots, uh, give you some good grip. The side here does have some texturing as well. So again, you can hold on to it a little better. Uh, we've got a pocket clip, and then there is this traction pad right up here at the tip. So when you're really bearing down on those cutting tasks, you have somewhere nice to rest your finger. Very nice attention to detail from DeWalt on this particular blade. And that one does have some blade storage here in the back as well that we forgot to mention. The last knife that we have kind of in our lineup for utilities is going to be this DeWalt. This one is going to be a fairly standard utility knife as well. There's no folding features. Um, it does have your standard storage on board here. Um, same index textured here for, with the rubber. And then all of this housing is going to be rubber as well. So it's nice and grippy. Uh, you'll also see that seat belt cutter there as well. The, uh, the other nice thing about this is this Mechanism to open it up, it's actually two bits. So this is how you open up the blade storage there. You can see your blades inside there. But what else is nice, if I can get that closed. Oh gosh, just have to push that plastic in a little. Uh, you, you, all right, you just really gotta push it, no big deal. Um, but what you can, if you can see it, there's a nice little grip here for your pinky to rest into when you're really bearing down on it. So it really locks your hand in there when you're doing those cutting tasks. Again, that pad up top for you to index with your thumb or your index finger when you're bearing down gives you a nice comfortable point. Very nice, no frills knife from DeWalt. So that's gonna go through our utility knives. Uh, last, we are going to get into some fixed blade trade specific knives. Some kind of wild stuff, some things you might not have actually seen before. Or maybe you have seen them and just kind of wondered what the heck is that knife for? We're about to go over it. Stay tuned. Jumping right into our fixed blades that are more trade specific. We only have two brand representations here, although we do carry many other fixed blades. Looking at what we've got on hand here today uh, from Crescent, we've got here um, an HVAC saw. Uh, this is gonna be made for duct work. Um, I said saw. It's, it's kind of a saw. It's got a serrated blade to it. Yeah, so this one is going to be specific for duct work. So if in, you're in the HVAC field, um, this will be great for that type of job. It comes along with this plastic sheath with the belt clip. Um, so this is a pretty awesome fixed blade. It's a large blade that you have there. 
And then looking at the second blade that we have here from Crescent, this is gonna be called a jab saw. And what this is gonna be specific for is jabbing through drywall and making those cuts for your electrical outlets, things of that sort, uh, makes ripping through that drywall quick and easy. This one does not come with the sheath, however. Mm. Jumping into Milwaukee. Okay, over here, uh, we've got a couple more electrician knives. Uh, these are both gonna be Hawksbill blades. Uh, these again come with a nice sheath that has an integrated hook onto it for your belt or pocket. Uh, it does have a nice little section there so it'll grab onto your belt so when you draw that out, uh, you're good to go. Uh, again, this is a Hawksbill blade. It's got a nice thumb ramp here with some jimping to it so you get really good control. Very comfortable ergonomic handle. All of these Milwaukee knives I do want to mention are going to be a full tang construction. So that means that this blade runs all the way through this handle and is completely encapsulated by this, on this particular piece, uh, a solid plastic handle, but a uh, full tang knife just means that the blade goes all the way through the handle on it and all of these Milwaukee blades are a full tang knife. And with that full tang, you're gonna get a lot more durability and usability out of these knives. They're gonna be far less likely to break off at the end if you're doing really heavy cutting work or anything of that sort. So having a full tang blade is gonna be extremely beneficial. Absolutely, you can, you can, you can wrench on it a little harder than you would on uh, something that's maybe a, uh, a tail tang or just a hidden tang kind of knife where it uh, terminates itself somewhere inside the handle and does not go the full length. Uh, this is that same knife that we just showed you, but does have this feature for hot stick work. Uh, so a nice big ring on there where you can do that as a nice bonus feature. And that hot stick will be universal as well. Absolutely. Uh, moving on here. Now this looks like a fillet blade, but it is not. Uh, it is way, way too sturdy. Uh, you're not gonna wanna gut your fish with that. This is actually a smooth blade insulation knife. So this is great for cutting insulation. Uh, nice long blade here and very, very sharp. Again, full tang, comes with a sheath. Get it in there. It does click in, you can hear it. And it is an insulation knife. And with that long blade on there uh, being an insulation knife, you'll be able to cut through those bats of insulation quick and easy. Um, you're not gonna have to worry about making numerous cuts to get through that bat of insulation. Yep, definitely, definitely make quick work of it. Uh, lastly here, we've got actually kind of a general purpose full tang knife. Uh, we could have thrown this one into an everyday carry. Uh, it is almost a little large for that. This is really more of a utility blade. This is Milwaukee's utility fixed blade knife. Again, a full tank construction, uh, plastic grip here, and it's got some really nice uh, texture here, the jimping on the thumb ramp for good control. This is a blade that is kind of a do it all. Uh, you can take this and do almost anything with that. You can put that in a camping box. You can put that on the job site. You can do pretty much anything with a knife like this. Very sturdy, very durable durable, uh, very handy blade. Yeah, you'll, this knife will definitely take a beating. Again, with that full tang, um, you'll be able to do just about anything that you would want with a knife like this. So that covers all the knives that we have with us here today. As we mentioned earlier in the video, we do carry many other brands with many other unique uh, features specific to trades and to specific to jobs. Uh, so make sure you check out our cutting category on our website and make sure to always do your best work with Acme Tools.